Hey golf people, on today's episode we're trying out a club that I really loved earlier in this year and they've made a big improvement and solved the one problem that a lot of folks were complaining about. These are the sticks. I've got a full bag here today with driver, three wood, five wood, four hybrid, five through pitching wedge. Then we've also got a 52, 56, and 60 degree wedge. So a lot of folks are gonna be happy because one of the few complaints about these clubs to both golf reviewers here on YouTube as well as the general public was that these black faced finished clubs just don't hold up as well as chrome finished clubs over time. So these silver finished sticks, we're gonna see if they play the same here today and if we can still have the same great results we had with the black all stealth set from earlier this year. Let's do it guys. Oh crap, and I almost forgot. We're actually giving away these sticks that I'm playing with today to one of you. So look down below in the description. I've got all the details on the contest. Well guys, after a pretty lackluster drive there, we've actually got ourselves a decent lie and a decent angle. And uh, we're gonna have a little more club than I want in my hands, but we got the wind behind us, that's okay. Now where I think a lot of package sets come up short or even fail is in the woods. Drivers, three woods, hybrids, that sort of thing. I found the sticks to be really good, although <laughs> I didn't show it right there on that drive, but I'll continue to update you as this day progresses. I've got 152, I've got a little wind behind me. I could really try to push it with an eight, and I think I will try that. You know, let's see what kind of distance these things have. See if we get up there. Came up a little bit short. I probably, off that lie, probably should have hit seven. But again, just testing these clubs out to start with. Now you can see, that wasn't amazing contact either. But, forgiveness is a beginner's best friend and that's what this set does in spades a super forgiving iron that thing was right on line if i would have missed right would have been in the water if i would have missed left would have been the bunker now i can try to get up and down at least hopefully save a par on these aerated greens now this stick set comes with wedges too and you can see mine still have the wrapping on them i think i'm gonna go i'm between a 56 and a 60 because my normal wedge is a 58. I think 56 will probably do the ticket here, but these are really nice looking wedges. Probably hit at 143, maybe 144. Again, not great contact, but decent, decent result. Not a great effort, to be honest. <laughs> probably should have put a little bit more into that. That's one thing that I would change about this set probably is the gapping of these wedges. This set comes 52, 56, 60. My wedges in my bag 50, 54, 58. So for me, they're two degrees off from where I'd like them to be. Now let's see what the putter can do. I actually really like this putter and I've seen some reviews of these clubs and people didn't like the putter. I actually think this is the perfect putter because it's in between a mallet and a blade style putter. It's something in between, again, nice milling, nice quality on that putter. Tap in bogey to start. Not exactly the start I was hoping for. We're gonna have to hit some greens here in order to score because we got these aerated greens here today. They were aerated only like a week and a half to two weeks ago. So they're pretty bumpy. We're gonna have to hit them tight. Let's see if we can do that. We're heading to a par five, guys. All right, guys, nice result there. We found the middle of the fairway, decent distance. I don't think this driver is going to give you anything outrageous but it's solid for sure and there's plenty of long hitters especially beginners out there that swing a lot harder than i do and i think you'll find the distance pretty ample with these sticks now here's a club that i don't put in my bag currently but i think could be a really good option for a beginner and that's a five wood right now i play three wood and then i go to three hybrid a lot of people have said i should carry a five wood in my bag this five woods at 19 degrees we'll see if we can get a nice layup shot with it started out really good and then just kind of snap hooked on me a little bit and that just might be the flex of these shafts so it's just something i got to get used to and again don't hit a five wood very often but came off the club there really nice got up in the air very easily and again for beginners to have a five wood and this set also comes with a four hybrid instead of a four iron that's a much easier way to get some ball flight especially when you're starting out well guys <laughs> Like I said, it really snapped. It actually hit this cart path at the end there and then bounced even further left to where we find ourselves. And as you can see, I'm blocked out. 
In terms of distance, we have 132. What I'm going to try to do is really hit a wrap around seven iron here. We're going to see how workable these clubs are. Now, that's generally the trade off with game improvement clubs like these. You are not going to get such good workability very often, but let's see if I can actually turn this ball a little right to left and see if we can make the green. I'm hitting more club here. I'm going to choke down on it. I'm going to play it in the back of my stance and we're just going to see what happens. That bee doesn't sting me. And what I'm hoping is I can just curve it around here. Hopefully you saw it on the camera, but we did exactly what I wanted to do there. And uh, again, we're gonna have a chance to get up and down for a par. Let's see if we can master these wedges now. Here is where we ended up, but you can see what would have happened if we didn't get that nice draw. Again, I've got a chance here to get up and down and uh, be a hero. On this shot, I'm gonna try the 52 degree wedge and that's because we're already on this hill. So I already need to kind of de-loft a little bit. And that's why normally I'd probably hit this with a 56, but I'm gonna take those four degrees here and hopefully it'll give us a little better trajectory. You can see it went way up in the air. That landed pretty good, pretty soft, and we've got a chance. <laughs> I yanked it guys. That's bad golf. Can't ever take these for granted on these greens. All right guys, heading up to a par three here and we've got 150 yards on the button. The wind though direction has changed because I've changed my direction. I'm now heading the opposite way. So we got the wind into us. I'm gonna go seven iron here, which should be plenty of club. It's about 155 to 160 with this set, I think. We'll see how well we do. Now, if you watched my review last year, I mentioned that these sticks are all graphite shafted. And for me, that was a big change. I've never in my entire career playing golf for almost 40 years now, have never played a graphite shafted iron. Of course, I've played graphite shafted woods, but never an iron. But I gotta say, this stiff shafted graphite really takes away a lot of the vibrations and it really just gives it a nice pleasant feel out on course. And maybe it's not just as stiff as steel as we saw on that five wood that snapped on me a little bit, but it's really, really close. And again, I think the high handicappers and the beginners are really going to appreciate having that more forgiving shaft in this club. Well guys, I hit that off the toe and just to show you the forgiveness of these clubs, that's the mark there where I hit it. Just to illustrate the forgiveness of these clubs, I got some incredible height there. I don't know if you saw that on the shot tracer, but it went up very, very high in the air and it flew a long way. I'm at the back of this green, so I got plenty of distance, plenty of forgiveness off a not so great strike there, guys. Really happy with that. Now, our challenge is gonna be two putting today, so let's see if we can make that happen. I'm coming down this green from the side, and if you can see it, my ball's way back there in the corner. So uh, looks like I hit it, I'd say 155. Pretty good for a poor strike. Struggling with the flat six. Like I said, I do like the weight. I like the balance of this thing. It's, it's all me right now. These clubs have performed, in my opinion, very admirably. Now, folks would ask me, are these the clubs that I would personally play? No, these are not the clubs that are the clubs for me. These are higher handicap and beginner clubs, in my opinion, but they're really good ones, guys. Really, really good ones. Now, as package sets go, they are not the cheapest and not the most expensive either, but I would say they are the best. And a lot of people ask me, I've played the Callaway Edge sets from Costco. You've seen me play the Cobra XLs, the Fly XLs. You've seen me play the Wilsons. And uh, I still would say, I think the sticks offer the best bang for the buck for the beginner golfer. And I think they're perfect clubs for you young professionals out there who are looking for your first set. Maybe you've got some charity events you've got to play in every year, or maybe you just need to get started and start making some deals out on the golf course. I really think these things are gonna make you look very respectable and play just about as good as a package set's going to let you play as well. So solid value in the sticks. I have no complaints except for my own swing. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys, and I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.